hello everyone and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and guys i'm so excited my shout out today goes to my shout out today goes to ijoma uh ijoma or isioma ej i'm going to leave her handle on the screen she was the first comment on my make me white lotion review so ijoma you were my first commenter and i'm giving you a shout out also, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to this channel. We do a lot of tutorials, videos, and all of that. And this video I'm about to watch is a request from a subscriber. Today, I'm going to be making a very simple toning black soap. So I posted a video, um, a picture on my community tab, and I had someone ask me um, to share the recipe for this soap. So this is my recipe for this soap. This soap is a mixture of organic and a little bit of um, industrial synthetic products. Um, but it's still 50% um, natural, if not 80% natural actually. So I've already measured out my ingredients just so that this video is not too long. But this is shea butter. Shea butter is biocursive and you know what shea butter does to the skin. This is my Ghana white soap. This is turmeric, mulberry and Indian gooseberry, also known as amla powder. This is my honey. Over here I've mixed my snow white powder and kojic dip. I'm using Kojic Deep and uh, Snow, I'm using Kojic actually, sorry, not Kojic Deep because it's soluble in water and Snow White powder is soluble in water as well. So I wanted to, you know, dissolve those in my hydrosol. Remember your hydrosol should be distilled water or rose water. I'm using um, rose water or any water. Oh, I'm using rose water hydrosol, sorry. I also have Charm Water, herbal Water. I have Tea Tree Essential Oil. I have my seven days perfecto serum. I have pure almond oil here. I have tower spy powder, which is what I put in as this is my snow white powder. That's what I put here. I have grapeseed oil in my formulation. Um yeah, so grapeseed oil improves skin elasticity and softness, and tea tree oil is great for anti-inflammatory. Kojic deep. Uh, is a tyrosine inhibitor. So, um, kojic acid is going to slow down the um, production of melanin, which is what gives us this, uh, you know, dark skin. So, it's going to slow that down. This is also going to be good for pigmentation and spots on the skin. Okay. I'm also using the Santad lotion for feet. There are two types of Santad lotion. This is the one for feet. I'm going to be using this one today. My preservative. This is Snow White oil. So. If you don't have snow white powder, you can use snow white oil. Uh, I'm thinking of incorporating that in my recipe. And then I have miracle powder. Miracle powder, everybody knows the it's a legendary healer. It removes bruises, it removes spots, pigmentation, black knuckles, stretch marks, everything. They say this thing does. So always be using a pinch of that. And then in here, you're going to see two soaps. This is the honey soap. This soap is used in a lot of pro mixing um, black soap. It's used in, you know, Shakrakra black soap, many black soap. This is a very lightening black soap that is used, as well as the Larissa carrot soap. I put them in here. So as I go, I'm going to tell you my measurements. This is my base soap. This is actually my lightening black soap. This is what is left of it. So I'm going to be using that um, to mix this soap just because I want to finish using that okay all right so as i go i'm going to be telling you my measurements so in here i'm going to measure out i measured out 30 um for my black soap i'm going to be using 48 grams and i already measured out 38 grams of white soap here so i'm going to go ahead to uh, measure just 10 grams here That's 408. So if I put 10 before 18, so this is just 10 grams or so. You see, that is more than 10. This soap I'm using already contains a lot of um, skin lightening ingredients. That is why I don't want to use too much of that. So 
that is my 10 grams. While I'm waiting, I'm going to put my hydrosol just so that my powder can be dissolved. So I'm going to put in my hydrosol. I measured two grams of hydrosol. So I'm going to be using that to dissolve this. Remember, you want your powder, your water to be at 40 degrees Celsius. So as you can see, all my powder uh, have been dissolved, they're now crystal clear. I'm going to use this to actually melt my these powders because I want them to actually be melted so I don't see particles of them in my soap. I want this soap to actually be very, very um, smooth and have a nice texture, okay? So for my powders, I use two grams each. So that is two grams of each of these powders, okay? So I'm just going to melt them. Some of them will melt completely, but that's okay. Just want to make sure that they are actually dissolved and there are no particles in it. I just want that smooth look and feel to my soap. So I'm going to go ahead to put my um, black soap. This is 30 grams of Ghana white soap. This soap I'm making is, um, my soap is 50% of my formulation. This soap I'm making is, sorry, my soap is 48%. This soap I'm making is 200 grams worth of soap. So, it's going to be very little, just a very simple video, actually. And then for my honey, I measured out 10 grams of honey. Like I've said, I like honey in my soap. Honey gives soap this very nice consistency and also on honey is an emollient so I really love you know what it does to the skin it's very very nice on the skin remember I have these bowls and ingredients for sale as well as measuring cups and spoons are interested and um, the reason why I'm wearing gloves today is because I recently did my nails, so I don't want to get them, you know, stained. All right. So I'm going to move ahead to measuring out my liquids and all of that. Okay. So let me just put my powders in first and I'll measure out my liquids. Indian gooseberry, that is amla powder, is a great skin lightener. It's one of the best out there. It is also um, it's a skin brightener, like I said, and it makes the skin very soft and supple. So I like soft and supple skin. So because there is nothing like wastage here, I'm going to go ahead to measure my herbal water in here. For my herbal water, I'm going to be using three grams of herbal water. This herbal water is good for stretch marks. Um, it brightens the skin and is a very great moisturizer. So this is this. Remember, we have these ingredients for sale. So I'm just going to mix that. See, see, no wastage here. Put that into the soup. I'm going to put my shea butter. Remember, we also um, offer trainings. We are starting a new training on October 1st. Our training is 15,000 Naira. We also have ebooks for sale. 
10,000 Naira. Are you interested? Okay, so I put in my oil and my powder, my project dip. I'm going to go ahead and put my almond oil. So let me put this to the side and measure out my oil. I love to use almond oil because almond oil is great for all skin types. So it's usually my go-to oil as well as sunflower oil. Because this soap can be used by anyone, okay? Uh, any skin type, sorry. This soap is for people that want to tone, just brighten their skin a little, okay? My almond oil is 3 grams. Let me measure 3 grams of almond oil. Three grams, very little, and then my grapeseed oil is going to be two grams. Remember, carrier oils and essential oils are emollients. It's two grams of grapeseed oil. They make your skin very soft and supple. Mister very important you know that black soap can be very very drying so you want something that brings back moisture to the skin okay now i'm going to um go ahead to put in my tea tree oil because tea tree is an essential oil i am not going to put too much i see people throw in a lot of essential oils into their formulations and i scream because this can be very burning on the skin, okay? And in skincare, one gram is equivalent to 10 drops. So I'm going to be using 10 drops of tea tree essential oil in this formulation. So this soap is also suitable for the face, as well as people that have maybe body acne and all of that. You no, know, in tea tree oil is very good for anti-inflammatory and acne-prone skin. So I'm going to use uh, 10 drops of this. <clears throat> oh, that is 10 drops. You don't need anything more than that. Tea tree oil is very concentrated. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead to put in my seven days perfecto serum. This is something that is used in a lot of toning black soap, a lot of priming soap. It's a very good serum. It gets the job done. So it's very it's commonly used. So I'm going to go ahead to measure three grams of my three days perfecto. Three grams. and then my santad lotion for feet like i said they have the one for face and they have the one for feet this is going to make sure that this person's skin is going to be evening out even on their feet um just so that you are not rubbing soap and your feet is still dark you're still having dark nose and dark toes and dark um ankle when you're using this product for my santad i'm using four grams grams of that and then i'm going to just put a pinch of my miracle powder a pinch just a pinch remember we have these ingredients for sale if you want and then you can come get them okay so because I'm skipping my lemon oil, I'm going to use um, lemon, lemon extract. I'm going to use 1% of this low white oil. Just one. 1%. One just one gram. So 
So I have to take all my ingredients except for my propylene glycol. I'm going to mix this on propylene glycol and my preservative. I'm going to mix this up and um, you're going to see. The reason why I'm putting preservative is because I put in a hydrosol. If I wasn't using any hydrosol in this soap, I wouldn't have used, um, what's it called? Preservative, but I used the hydrosol, so I definitely need to put some preservative into the soap. So this is it. Um, after double boiling, just to make sure that some of those soaps and powders are properly melted. So this is what it looks like. I didn't heat it up too much because because of some of the synthetic ingredients I put in there, some of them don't do well in heat. So I just heat it well enough to allow those other um, <clears throat> soaps melt in. So I'm going to go ahead to put my phenoxy ethanol. But I would say for you, make sure you've prob maybe probably you if you're not going to double boil, just put everything and let it sit for days. Or if you know you're going to double boil, I would say put in your soap, put in your powders, put in all of that, and then heat up before putting in your industrial products. That would be a better way to do this. So I'm going to be putting one gram of phenoxyl ethanol, which I've already measured out. So I'm going to put phenoxyl ethanol preservative. <clears throat> like I said, I'm putting this because of the hydrosol I used. But if you're not going to use any hydrosol, you're not going to dissolve anything just put that in some people go ahead to put in these powders i do that too as well but at the same time i just i really like when my powders are properly dissolved so they're not leaving in you know bits and particles in my formulation okay and in order for this soap to really really you know get into the skin as much as i would love to i'm going to add some glycerin or propylene glycol to this formulation as well So I put in my propylene, I'll put in my propylene glycol when this cools down. So I'm going to let it cool and then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. This soap you can leave for days to, you know, incorporate and dissolve. Even after doing this, I'm going to leave it for days to just allow the ingredients to mix in really well. I really like the color. So we're going to allow it to cool and then we're going to come back to see what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in my container just so that when it cools off, it's going to solidify in the container. Remember, if you're someone whose soap is always turning out watery, you want to make sure that you've reduced the uh, quantity of liquids you use in your formulation. That is what makes soup actually very oily and very liquidy, sorry, not oily. 
makes your soup very soft it's not like soup it's like a wash so reduce the oils and increase your soap oh my my clap my bowl broke oh no I'm never using my glass bowl for soup again. No, no. <laughs> so this is it. Oops. When it cools down, I'm gonna show you guys the end product. Guys, so this is after three days. It is melted. Um, it has cooled down. So this is the end result. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.